Careless United Mail made an international news brief. I'm due Monday. We're reporting on breaking news story as the Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel, prepares to make a statement in front of the Reichstag. Our Berlin correspondent, June Tuesday, is live on the scene. Thanks, June. We're here live at the Reichstag with Angela Merkel is about to make a statement regarding new economic measurements the government is taking to improve local economy here in Berlin. For months, many members of the parliament have been concerned with the growing lack of access to affordable thinking. It is true that Berlin has fallen from the number one to the number 69 in closing for sex.com, best cities to think of fans index. After careful and very thorough research conducted by the Global Joint Committee, it has become strikingly clear that the rising cost of alcohol, drugs, and aphrodisiacs in our Federal Republic is to blame. Therefore, it is a great honor for me to announce a new policy intended to spur the local economy and homosexual community here in our fine capital of Berlin. From today onward, any person who enters the job center location in Berlin will receive a free bottle of Pappos und Appipiert. Furthermore, every second Friday of the month, Ficken Dreithausen in the beautiful Neukölln will host the Ficken for free offering affordable drinks and cozy spaces to fit with no cover or hidden fee. Finally, any jobs completed in Ficken Dry Towson will not be subjected to VAT. That was Angela Merkin speaking on the new Fecking for Free policy that has just got into effect immediately. The mood here at the Reichstag is positively jubilant. Let's check in and see what people think. Hi, person. Hi. How are you? I'm They're fantastic, very, very interesting. And your name is? We really love this person who represents society in Berlin. Don't you represent fantastic? Yes, here we go. So, how do you feel about the second for free? I really have. Fantastic, so interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, here we go, another person. Hello, excuse me, hello. Do you mind having a moment? Just to have a little word for television. Mm -hmm. And your name is? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So, how do you feel about the new Fecking for Free policy? I don't need you. I don't need free. And why is that? Because, um, I have a lot of money, come on. You see this? I mean, look at that outfit. You've definitely got a lot of money, haven't you? Come on, please. You heard it here first. Come on, please. Thank you very much. Let's go deep into the crowd and find another bystander and see what their general consensus is on this one. Hello, bystander. Uh, hi. Hi. So, how do you feel about the new policies? Good. I'm, I'm happy. And uh, would you definitely do Angela Merkin? Yeah, sure. Oh, fantastic. What's so sexy about Angela Merkin? She's masculine. There we go. Mask for mask. Thank you very much, bystander. Hi, Mum. Please do come again. That's it. You heard it here first. Hi, Mum. Anyway, as we're moving on, let's find some more representatives of the crowd and see what the people really do feel about this new policy. Hi, and your name is? I do not have a name. Oh, fabulous. How uh, cosmopolitan and, you know, postmodern of you. Anyway, what's your opinion on the new policy? I think it's great that everybody can enjoy this new policy. And how do people enjoy this new policy? Well, if it's free, you can enjoy it anywhere you like. You heard it here first. If it's free, you can enjoy it here anywhere you like. And I'm sure you people absolutely will. And let's go back to the... Oh, hang on. There's another bystander. Just before we do go back to the studio. Hello, bystander. Hi. Um, what would you like to say to the public? I can't wait for picking for free. Really? And why can't you wait? Because I'm going to pick for free. Oh, you heard it here first. Well, if you're going to be there, I'm definitely coming. I don't know about you, June, but I'm going to be going. Are you coming, June?